Trump 2028. Yeah, I was gonna be here. I was gonna come last night, but my tires got flashed. Trump 2032. I met this guy who was stuck in line with me. Trump 2036. <laughs> Dictatorship. Trump 2040. Ooh. People don't want like the fact that I was gonna come here. Are you guys tired of winning yet? We're Forever. coming for you, Donnie, you beautiful man. The 45th president of the United States. It's a battle zone down here. Call me down, please. I want somebody to call me down. the big city. No. It's a little gloomy today, but that's not going to dampen our spirits. We're out here in Minneapolis, ready to see Donald Trump. <coughs> I can't talk like an announcer because that makes me die. So that's why I'm usually not very excited about things because I don't want to die. Whoa! Oh, oh yeah, we're going to see Donald Trump. Yeah, he just needs a chance to do his job. That's what they were seeing on Fox News last night. I was watching the news over dinner. And they hate on. him so much. I've never seen anything like it before. I've been around for a while. I've been around for like two other presidents. I've never seen anything like that. I mean, I was too young. I was too young to really know anything about politics then, but yeah. that point still stands. I've only, I've only been alive for this president, but I'm sure this is like different than any other president. I can't stop talking like this now. Should we do this if a whole vlog? If you're with me, enough is enough, right guys? It's a huge fence. Do they have kangaroos in there or something? That must be the zoo. Oh, that's a prison. Oh, that's a prison, yeah. Enough is enough. Enough, enough is, is enough. enough. Impeach Donald Trump. They should probably close that door. I did that once. I was driving my tractor down the road. I was going 30 miles an hour because my tractor had an extra turbo booster in there. And the cow rolled out the window and now I'm doing the southern accent before I was doing a Minnesota accent now it's just become a southern accent. The cows were tumbling down the road in the tumbleweed. I couldn't see anything when it was over just red and it looked like a Donald Trump rally. It's a pool of red everywhere. It's, it, was, it was disgusting. Hey. Just like a Donald Trump rally. I tell you what. Should I tell him? He thinks this is the line. I tried to give him money but apparently he's just waiting for the Trump rally. He's camping out a little bit too far away from the line. He's the Trump supporter. Like, for the last time I'm not homeless, I'm a Trump supporter. It's just... the first time we've seen the big city in our whole entire lives. There's where the Cowboys play. Is that AT&T Bank Stadium? No. Is that the Coliseum? That Guys, I've seen that on the television before. I oh. think that's where the twins play. They play baseball. $15? A whole $15. That's like a, a day's paycheck for me. Back in my day, it was one cent for one parking spot. Yo, that's open and then there's a red gate. I'm so confused. Mm -hmm. I've never driven up seen anything so steep in my life. I've grown up in the flat country right in front. Easy access. It's a little ridiculous. We're here to support President Trump! 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 Literally just got here, don't tell it. The people standing in line. We're forever. coming for you, Donnie, you We're beautiful just, man. Just... One ten if you guys want to go on the floor. Go down, we're gonna be on the floor. We're gonna get some pretty good seats, I think. We should get a hat. Should we get a hat? Let's get a, we don't need no, one. We'll we'll get one later. Over. Fine. It's good. We're in. We got fixed over. No, it's, it's keep going. Keep going. Keep going. One ten, here we go. <clears throat> this is gonna be fun, dude. I can't wait. Thirsty now. This is close as we can get. How long have we been in line? About zero minutes. Don't tell anybody. We saw a line and we said, "All right, let's jump in line." We accidentally almost went to the uh, the VIP area first. This lady came up to us and said, "Do you have your VIP passes?" And we had walked by a bunch no. of people who didn't say anything, so we went out and then we just got in the line. Thought it was the back of the line. Got lucky. It was the front. That's how you do a rally. You don't camp out for three days. It. It's a free show. Do whatever. There, there are no rules. That's like perfect. We think the mayor is uh, out there telling people to go to Target Field instead of Target Center. So, yeah. But, but they'll figure it out. 
and it'll be full pretty quickly. What time is it? 3.15. Trump comes out at 7. Big Trump supporter. So we'll be here for a while. I'm getting kind of thirsty, but uh, I'll survive. He moved from Canada over here because Trump was elected. His whole family was extremely Wait, liberal. He converted them all. But when we walked in, we're in the elevator. This guy said, he said we'll never get in. He said he's been waiting since like 5 this morning. The My Pillow guy is here. He's a pretty big deal. No one knows his name. He's just known as the My Pillow guy. Oops, sorry. Well, my heels are hurting. I've been on my heels too much. Gotta keep moving. Back pain starting to set in. Hunger starting to set in. Patriotism starting to set in. Two and a half more hours. The boredom is setting in. He's taking selfies. What is happening? This arena is more full than it's been in a while. The Timberwolves play here, so. And then this full since the Lakers were in Minneapolis. We've been here since yesterday. Can't believe how long we're in line. It was cold out there. It was wet, it's rainy. All but night. It's good to fight to get these spots. Almost lost my hat three times. I lost mine. <laughs> no, I didn't wear one. We moved up. We're a little closer now. My pillow dude talked about uh, pillows. Another guy talked. The campaign dude. It was like Hillary's deplorables all over again. All right. Ready! We've been here for how long have we been here now? A while. Three hours. 23 hours. Thank you. Mike it's Pence is creeping. He's peeking out. He made eye contact with me, so I'm pretty famous. He waved at me. He winked at me. He said, hey, that's Ethan. I know him. He's a cool guy. And then he went back in. He, that's the only reason he looked I out. I saw the wave. I saw the wave. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. It's I got, real. I got people to bed. Real life. 100%. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to stand down here, though, because it's a better view. I didn't want to stand up where all the people who know him sit. Didn't they ask you to speak? They did, but uh, I just... <laughs> <laughs> I had to get the on the ground footage. Absolutely. I'm the front Understood. row report, front row correspondent. So you respectfully declined. Front row YouTube correspondent. So I said no, thanks, but no thanks, <laughs> Mr. Pence. <laughs> 15 minutes till 7 o'clock. I don't know if that's when oh, yeah. Trump is going to be here, but a little faint. Haven't eaten in hours. Been like two days, three days. Maybe 70 hours since we've been here. It's the best, most organized function in America right now, right here. Ladies and gentlemen, oh! Eric Trump. Are you guys tired of winning yet? Please welcome the Vice President of the United States. I stand with President Donald Trump. Uh -huh. to introduce to you my friend and the 45th President of the United States, President Donald Trump. Don't you ever do that again. Yes. Who is the toughest?
the snakes you need to deal with. I said, you're not going to believe this. It's the USA is the toughest. Some people did something. Big deal. motto, in God we trust. We will make America safe again, and we will make America great again. Thank you, Minnesota. That was a really long speech. We've been standing for eight and a half hours. Another 70 hours of waiting in line. I mean, I seconds, 70 seconds. I Look at all these nice seats we could have had. We got there right before they opened the doors, hopped in a line just with a bunch of people. Didn't know where the entrance for us was going to be. And then the line starts moving. I'm the first person through my metal detector. I have to go down a little ways, but I was probably like in the top 50, 100 people that like, got in. Front row on the floor. So it was pretty legit. We learned a lot. I don't, not really though. It was Stop. more of a rally for getting people hyped up and not so much gathering knowledge. So, like a rally? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, we didn't learn anything. We just cheered at stuff because everyone else was. So was. Everyone was cheering, so I cheered too. I just heard cool just words coming good. out of his mouth and I was like, yeah. He was excited about it. Everyone else is happy. You're happy. I don't know what he was saying. Right now it's 10.32. We started standing on the floor right before 2 o'clock, about 1.50 p.m. So we stood there without standing, without standing, we stood there without standing, and basically without moving our feet for about nine hours. And I didn't, I made sure not to drink anything so I didn't have to uh, relieve myself. Two dudes next to me, when they let us move forward a little bit, to the to the very front because they held us back. They were fighting, they were mad at each other, they were like, hey, this is my space, I'm not moving, you can move. Move to the left, no, I'm not moving. This one guy next to me was squeezing me in, into the barrier and then between the other guy on the other side who couldn't move. So we were squished in, they're like, yeah. This other guy gets mad at him, calls the police, tells them where they are, and apparently they didn't care because <laughs> He was only on the phone for like a minute. Uh, hello? This guy's budging me. <laughs> he took my spot. Come, come arrest him. There was this other lady who was like demanding that she be right at, up front at the gate. Everyone was like, what do you think, you're special? She's like, I am special. And the security volunteer guy, he's just like, yeah, bring her up to the front. Yeah, she's like, this is where I deserve to sit. I've been waiting. That's where I was standing. And she was standing behind me, so. Outstanding. And there was another was like, lady. A couple rows behind me who was like, this woman is harassing me. I need to go up to the front so I can get away from her. And they're just, we're just like, uh, there was no. For the most part, it was fun. Everyone was nice, mostly, and mostly. I guess.